Hey, welcome to December 1st. Uh, we're, we're into the Christmas season. Uh, December 1 today. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, we got a little bit of snow last night, so that makes it feel a little bit more like winter. Um, I, I really enjoy this time of year. Uh, I enjoy the Christmas season. One of the worst parts of the Christmas season and this time of year, in my opinion, is just how short the days are. I feel like I come to work and it's dark in the morning, pretty much. And then when I, um, you know, by the time I get home, it's it's well after dark. Uh, so that's, I don't know, I just don't, I have a hard time feeling like I can get anything done in the dark. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this time of year and... Um, it's, I don't know, a lot of good memories uh, of this time of year. So um, let's enjoy it. Let's have fun. Let's, let's uh, yeah, be happy. That's what it's all about. Okay, uh, this is covering page 82 and 83. Um, our do now today will be based around the word conserve. Okay, and so conserve means to save, right? If you conserve something, you save it. Uh, you you use a little bit of it. You use what you need, but you save a lot for for later. Okay. So last month, our family conserved water by blank. Okay. How could you conserve water? All right. So that's going to be uh, one of the one of the things we focus on. Um. Okay. Um. First things first, I want you guys to go ahead and I will, I'm going to put the answers to these up here for um, for the vocab word final. We've all heard the word final before. Something that occurs at the end. So, um, you know, final means something that occurs at the end. So what do you like to do on the final days? of summer vacation and I want you guys to fill in with your own words right here okay I like to go camping um, on the final days of vacation I like to go camping and fishing on the final days of vacation um, I like to go to lagoon on the final days of vacation okay whatever it may be that you guys might enjoy doing on the fi final days of of summer vacation um, that's what I want you to put there Okay, so make sure you have those. Um, if you don't have it all written down by now, push pause and get it done. Okay. All right, we're moving on to the word destroy. To destroy means to ruin something. Okay. What is one thing that could destroy a perfect attendance record? So I believe what they're what they're referring to with that is um, a perfect attendance record at school. One thing that could destroy a perfect attendance record is coming down with the coronavirus. <laughs> That's that'd be perfect for right now, right? Okay. Um, one thing that could destroy a perfect attendance record is breaking your leg. Okay, anything like that. Okay, if you don't have it all written down by now, go ahead and push pause. Okay, and we're moving on to the book work, to the story. Okay, so this is a folk tale, a Nigerian folk tale, describes a contest between rain and fire. Okay, so in folk tales, a lot of times they, they take an element or they take um, an animal or an idea or something like that and they, they turn it into a person. So, for example, this guy is rain, you can see, okay, and this guy is fire, okay. So this is a, a contest between rain and fire. Um, but hold on before we, I'm going to. Okay, um, long ago, rain and fire had an argument. Each claimed to be more powerful than the other. They argued for days. Finally, 
attention have your attention please sorry guys we got interrupted with a with an intercom right there i'm i'm just going to start again long ago rain and fire had an argument each claimed to be more powerful than the other they argued for days finally they decided to have a contest to determine the more powerful they asked the people of the village to judge it rain boasted that he would be the winner fire was sure that he would defeat rain the day of the contest arrived first fire burned the forest he torched the houses in the village he destroyed the grasslands animals ran in fear fire kept blazing he scorched the farmland everyone cheered and agreed that fire was powerful as they ran away the people sang Fire is bright, fire is strong, fire eats everything in its path. No one can defeat fire. Suddenly the sun disappeared. Dark clouds gathered above the burning farmland. A thunderstorm boomed. Then heavy rain fell from the sky. Soon the farmland stopped burning. The scorched earth drank up the rainwater. The grass and plants grew green and healthy again. Animals looked upward in awe. The people of the village sang a new song. Rain is falling. Rain is mighty. Rain soaks all in its path. Who can defeat rain? I can, fire roared. He began again. He roared higher and higher. He, bl he flamed brighter and brighter. But again, rain fell in torrents. The rainwater put out fire's flames. The people of the village ran for cover. When at last the rainfall stopped, they came out. Now the people sang a final song. Fire is strong, rain is stronger. Fire burns, but rain heals. Rain is more powerful than fire. Okay, all right. That's kind of an interesting, uh, interesting thought, and it kind of it kind of helps us to understand and and feel the difference in rain and fire. Okay, when I think of of fire, you know, it's kind of a scary thing. I mean. I'm not thinking of just the, the campfire that we have while we're up camping in the mountains or, um, you know, or out in our backyard or whatever. Uh, I'm thinking more like, okay, that campfire, the wind comes up and that campfire spreads. That's, that, that's, a, that's a powerful thing and that's scary, scary. Um, but water or rain uh, is more is more calming is more um you know I, I one thing i really enjoy is I, I don't mind a good rainy day once in a while where it just kind of you can sit inside and watch the rain come down it's a peaceful thing right um I, i'll be honest i have been in storms where it's raining uh especially like in the midwest man when it rains in the midwest like like in missouri or illinois um, it's like buckets dropping on your car and it comes quick and it can kind of be scary. Um, but it's kind of an interesting concept that they, that they use with this folktale of fire is really, really strong and it can destroy, but rain in a way is like healing. Okay. Kind of interesting to think about. Um, okay. Especially as we're, we're talking about drought and things like that. Okay. Sorry, there was another interruption. Okay, what I'd like you guys to do now, um, let's go ahead and do this page 83. So you'll turn in page 83. How do rain and fire demonstrate their power? Fire shows its power by blank, destroying everything in its path. Um, rain shows its power by uh, raining, creating lakes, creating ponds, creating good, right? Okay, so... Um, fire shows its power by blank. Rain shows its power by blank. I want you guys to fill those in. Okay. Identify central idea in detail. So we, we've worked on this as far as uh, when we do our, our summaries. Okay. Write a sentence explaining who wins the contest and why. Underline two details from the text to support your answer. So you're going to write, you're going you're gonna to fill out who you think the winner is then you're going to underline two details from over here that support your idea, okay? Um, 
All right, down here, practice and apply. So, all right, so one thing that they talked about on this previous page is compound words. Okay, so reading compound words, you can divide an unfamiliar word into smaller words. This can help you read the word and figure out what it means. Words made of two smaller words are called compound words. So I think of basketball. Okay, there's two words there, right? Basket and ball. Okay, right here they use grassland. Grass, land. Okay, so when you identify these, just split them. Split those words. Okay, and, and sometimes that will help you to, to uh, sound out those words a, a bit better. Okay, so by separating separating those compound words. Okay, so what it wants you to do is it wants you to rain water, water that falls as rain, okay? Find another, find two more uh, compound words, okay? Um, I see two already, okay? Two of them already, okay? All right, so I want you guys to find those, okay, and fill that in, and we will turn in page 82 and 83, um, we'll go from there. Have an amazing day, guys, and uh, let's keep on keeping on.